For me, Pericles is a play that has many, many facets to it. It's a wonderful story. It's a great adventure story of uh, a young prince finding his way around a number of different countries and having adventures in each of them. But more than that, it's the story of somebody who's an outsider, who has to discover himself to find, to find his personality, to find out who he should be. The play is Pericles and it's Pericles, Prince of Tyre. He's a prince, he's a young man who believes he's entitled to something because he's a prince. He thinks he has a right to a particular kind of life. And as he journeys, he discovers that the world doesn't necessarily treat him like that. He has great highs and great lows. He wins everything, he loses everything. He wins again, he loses. And his journey is very much both the physical journey from place to place, but more so the journey of self-discovery, of finding out that what makes a real human being, a real prince, is to be kind, to be generous, to care for other people. And by the end of this long process, he, he comes away as Pericles the man rather than Pericles the prince. So that's one important facet of it. I think today, because it's a story about journeying, about loss of, at sea, it, it resonates so strongly with us as, a, as contemporary theatre makers, but as a contemporary audience in the context of what we see around us in the world, of people having to move, of having to leave, of leaving what they have, of losing everything and having to rebuild new lives and relying upon the kindness of other people, of our kindness to those who are displaced in the world. So it's a play for today. Like all of Shakespeare's plays, everything, every play has a resonance and an importance for us now. Very much so. I think when I was invited to choose a play and I was thinking about plays to choose, and I have done Pericles before, so sometimes it's nice to have a new challenge, but actually I thought this was a way of revisiting the play in a new way, of thinking about it very specifically around this concept of people leaving their homes, of losing everything and having to find themselves again and relying on kindness and, and the importance for us as people living in the world today to be those people who, who are kind whenever we can be. What we've been seeking to do in making the play in this way is to work with the, the company as an ensemble of actors. So they're present all the time. They're, they, they're, it's constantly a, a team coming from the fact that they are already an ensemble who know each other well and that they, they make the piece themselves. So if a resource is needed, if music is needed, it comes out of the ensemble. Then so it's finding that way of telling the story that's been really fascinating and of building something that, that is built on the actors here rather than imposed upon them. So it comes out of the piece. For me, theatre making is, is largely about giving ownership of the production from the first day of rehearsal, the process is about giving the ownership to the actors, that it should be their play. It's not my play, it's their play. They go out on stage and present it. And they have to stand by, behind that. They have to, to, to feel that it's, you know, that they live those characters, they inhabit those characters rather than perform the characters. So we've been working really on, on a shared understanding, a, collaborative way of presenting of the actors bringing themselves very much to the piece. I hope that the wall we might be shaking a little bit with this is people's fear and that fear of the other, the fear of the thing that we don't quite understand because it's foreign to us, it's unfamiliar, that reticence to approach someone who might need our help and to think of ourselves perhaps in that position. If we're fortunate, the events that happen to the characters in our play, or happen in Pericles, will never happen to us. We'll never be shipwrecked at sea. We'll never lose everything. We'll never wonder whether our, our partner is alive or dead. 
those are things that happen to people every day in real life. If we're lucky, they won't happen to us, but it's important that we think about the fact they are happening to other people and wonder how we can I stop that. Wouldn't that be wonderful if we could? But knowing that none of us are powerful individually enough to do that, but collectively we might, how we just say this, this is not the kind of world we want to live in, that we want to live in a, a more caring society.